Hi, you got the blonde guy at the YouTube channel. We're in here in the house with no power. We're experiencing the remnants of Hurricane Zeta. I'm going to take a quick look outside. Cat's out here meowing. She's a little bit scared. I don't know if you can hear that well. But we have some small tree limbs falling out there in the driveway that have to be picked up. We got some over here. Man, that wind is howling. Wind chimes are a blowing. Here comes the big gust. A little bit of grass out there. The little blades of grass are just laying down in the hay field. Trying to see how much stuff we got down. We got some big tree limbs fell right over there. Let me zoom in on some of this. This is the time of the year when all this rotten stuff blows out when you get heavy winds, but this is a hurricane, so it's blowing out more than what would normally blow out. Like that tree right there has got a limb that's broke off, I can see up there. Right in that area. That's a fresh one that just broke out. But I'm hoping that one that fell out fell out up there. What we call widowmakers. Little tree limb is hanging, been hanging down right there. It looks like it finally did blow out. I'd have to pull in here and back my truck in the shed. Might fall and hit my truck. And look at that, it's just blowing, blowing, blowing. I'm standing under the eve of the carport, but I can see out there behind the dump truck. I'm trying to zoom in, come on, zoom. Out there behind the, yeah, that wind's blowing pretty hard. Behind the dump truck is a pretty good sized tree limb that fell. Did it blow over? Well, it was right there behind it. Behind it. I think it fell over on the ground. Yeah, I can barely see it. Right over here, we got some stuff. Right over there. Step out here where it's, it's not blowing so hard. You can see these sticks. Zoom back a little bit. You see the sticks right here in the yard. That's what they do. They hit the ground and just stab right into the ground. I'm right here where there's no trees. Winds calm down a little bit. Right out there is the one I'm gonna to have to get out of the driveway. Right out there. Here we got some more laying here on the ground. Hello kitty. <laughs> Say meow, that's right. That's little princess right there. We did a video with her, a uh, animated video or homemade video. It's on the playlist where she's saying hello, 
And I say, hello, kitty. And she says, meow back. And she's sitting out here on this big rock. We're going to point to that right quick. She's sitting on that big rock out there just meowing to me every time I say hello. The bad thing is, <laughs> my wife, she went to work. And I called her a few minutes ago, or sent her a text message, rather. And she said the power went out at her work at 9.05. And that's when she was she's supposed to report in at work at 9 o'clock. And the fire went out there and about 20 minutes later, it went out here and I texted her a message and she said, yeah, it's already out there. She says she's not coming home until it's safe. She's got water on my phone there. She says she's not coming home until it's safe and I'm like, well, I hope you took your sleeping bag. Most of the hurricane is pushed north of us from what I could see on my phone, on my radar, on the phone radar. Um, we're at the tail end of it and it's really been blowing since about, about nine o'clock. Um, something like that, I heard it started really picking up even more. And that's what it's doing. Don't know what else is going on out here. Let's see if we can walk around here on the front porch. Yeah, we got some sticks here on the front porch. Falling out of the tree like it right there, here on the carport. Looks like everything seems to be holding up so far. It's blowing so hard, it's blowing leaves up against the door over here. We got that big tree right there. I've been concerned about needing to get it cut. I hope she holds up right there. That one's kind of got a lean to it. It's made it through some bad storms we've had with high winds. Hope it makes it through this remnants of this hurricane. I think the cat right there is wanting to come in. Yeah, it's blowing stuff all over the back of my truck here. I didn't pull it up in as far as I normally would, but I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's blowing stuff from up here on the carport. But you can hear stuff. It sounds like stuff falling in the background and you can hear it. I'll have to run out there and pull those tree limbs in out of the way so she can get on the carport when she decides to come home. And you can hear that wind just a blowing. But uh, I guess she wasn't thinking about the power going out. She should have looked at the radar. Should have looked at the radar and seen it was coming right up the edge here. Man, just look at that. That is blowing hard. That's probably 70 mile an hour winds are better, probably. Here comes another one, Gus, right behind it. Now these big oak trees, they're flexible when it's winds are blowing. Starting right over there, you can see it's moving some. Looks like something just fell there. That was my brush. It fell down. That little brush there is what we use to wipe off our clothes when we come in from mowing keep from tracking so much grass in the house. I don't know if you can see all this because we're in the dark here. But uh, yeah. It's blowing pretty hard. 
Cat's over there getting her something to drink. She's thirsty. She's an outside cat, so I really don't want to bring her in. She's better off out here somewhere than she is in the house with no power on and can't see where she hides. Plus, I don't have a litter pan ready. So she can hide out under the truck. She's got a nice little cat house right up here. She'll get in it. A little box right there is her cat house. And that cat can climb. She can climb up on this truck. She jumps up on the bumper up front. They climb across the cab up here, come down. They land on this toolbox, jump right in there. They go that way. Well, they. Sorry about that, I said they. I used to have two cats. One of them disappeared last year in May, so that's why I'm saying they. Still miss my Tomcat. Still think about him, still miss him. He's twice the size of her, and he was a good mouser. Good cat, he loved to come inside and stay inside. You couldn't even go out. But anyway, they would, right, what they do is they come over here, and that cat can jump from down here and she can put her claws in this brick and climb right up that brick and go to her cat house. Where you at, Princess? Kitty, kitty. I don't think she'll come up here. And we also got this little piece of plywood here. It's kind of dark in here, but we got that. That there is to where we used to have the other cat box for me to sleep in, I'm trying to get it. I don't have my light on my phone on recording because I don't wanna run the battery down. But that there is where the other box used to be and they can sit there and do their thing. Who? I think I'm gonna go back inside. See how it's going. Sure is windy out there. Let's check out back out here. Now yeah, you can see got a tree limb down over there, a small one. So far it doesn't look too bad. I looked towards the shed earlier. Everything seems to be okay. Oh uh, yeah. I got a lot of crap piled on top of the heat pump. I did turn the heat pump on, run the heat up a little bit, try to build some heat in case we don't have any power for a day or two. I did do that. Looks like we got some tree limbs down down here. Yeah. That's a nice size one right there. Our phone and cable, we're on fiber optic cable here. And our phone is backed up because a regular phone line is what gives you your power. But our phone is backed up by this uh, battery box that you see here. And I think that piece just fell down behind me. <laughs> I better get my butt back inside, or at least in order to see. Y'all can see right out there. I'm touching it in the wrong place while it's zooming. Not zooming right, but right out there is a good sized limb. I heard something go boom in a distance. So something could fail back in the distance. There's a tree limb. But anyway, uh, the power went out here Sunday. We was having some just some nice windy day Sunday. 
and it wasn't really storming and the power went out Sunday and we had I was just thinking like last week you know we need to get the generator out and get it running well Sunday I had my chance to do it because the power went out and we hooked up some power where we could get some internet so people could do their homework and that sort of thing and pulled the truck back here put the generator on it parked it right over here and then run a uh, generator cord in through that window and also over here to this power box for this battery backup to make sure that it didn't go down but right now the wind's blowing so hard i don't want to put my truck out here pull my generator out here under this mess and these tree limbs falling out um that's why i'm not going up other than the eve of the house here because um, something falls it even a small one can knock you in the head but it's just too dangerous to even get a generator out right now especially down there where i've got it at the shop uh, even out here at the other shed it, there's some big trees out here if i had it in that shed which is what i thought about doing it's uh you can't see those big limbs even on zoom there's some big limbs that fell out of that tree hope everything's all right out there that's where i parked my tacoma and this is a good time to be talking about this is why you need comprehensive insurance on your vehicles and things like that um, make sure you have insurance i've got one that i don't have it on and that's my camaro and i probably should have it on there but it's kind of expensive to have it even as old as it is but we're going back inside for a minute get out from under that overhang the wind should be calming down shortly Let's walk back out on the carport right quick. See what's going on out here. Cat's still sitting here. She, well, she will. There she is. There she is. Uh, it don't look too bad. Well, let me get off here. You got the Blind God YouTube channel signing out saying. If you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share this video with your friends and one other thing don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always have the nice rest of your day and be safe out there thank you and goodbye